Gentlemen, ladies, thought I'd show you guys another legacy tank. This was another one built near and dear to my heart where it's got a split cover on the flush clean out. The nameplate's up here. Tank was built in 1981. It's a 300 barrel tank. Quarter inch bottom, 316 shell, 316 deck. Built with for 16 ounces or one psi of pressure. That's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you, walk over here. See this nice reddish almost orange color that's not an illusion that is a wet spot wish you guys were here or I had smell of vision you guys smell that it's not all water and if you look right here this is one of those old Horton bottoms or tub style bottoms let's see if I can focus here zoom in that right there at the gerseam is a pinhole leak that's where the liquids coming out this weld has corroded all the way through and is allowing liquid or moisture to come out I don't think this tank has been sitting here in this particular location its entire time and the reason I think that is see these marks right here that's an indication or indicative of a common practice from the old days of throwing a chain around a tank and standing it up. Another reason I think I've got an indication that it's not been in this location its entire time. Let's see if I can zoom up here. See the roof rim. I'm not sure if that's really showing up on video. There is a huge caved in spot right here that spot's all caved in looks to me like it was set on a trailer and they dented it in it's got the old perforated and bolted assembled ladder and gauging platform and of course all the connections on this tank are threaded four inch two inch there's two more four inch on the back side Anyway, I thought I'd show this to you because these old tub bottoms, it used to be real common. Sometimes you still see them. I've never been a real big fan of them. And this is one of the reasons why. They, uh, they're really, really inexpensive. Some people would call that just plain cheap. I think they'd have a pretty hard argument against my... Uh, my belief. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Talk to you later. Bye.